Now I'll tell you something, guys. This is the questions that I'm going to pose as direct questions. And if you don't get an answer today to these questions, then you as Christians, or anyone with a mind and rationality, listening and watching and understanding my argument, should reject Christianity as a whole. And if you don't, Wallahi. And I said Wallahi, which means by Allah. Wallahi, uqsumu billah al -azim. I swear by Allah the Mighty, you are denying yourself. Self-denial is prevalent in every limb of your body. And in your psychology, you're just denying, you're self-denying. You, this is something so patently clear. Question one, why is, the, why is the Trinity not in the Old Testament? Question two, why is it not clear in the New Testament? Question three, why has there been a clear historical development that can be traced historically using primary and secondary sources that have led from Unitarianism to Binitarianism to Trinitarianism in 381 where Theodicy's the, 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 the person of the time of the, the, the Roman Empire, he forced everyone to be a Trinitarian. Question four, why is it that you find all of the church fathers, Justin, all of these people like Justin, people like Clementine, all of these individuals, Origin, where have they agreed with the Trinity that you claim today is the Trinity? Where? Where can you find in their teachings the things that we see today? Get me a statement. Find me a statement. It should be there. Question number five. If you realize that the Trinity is an irrational, you know, and it's an irrational thing to comprehend. Five minutes. Then why is it? And how could you make rational arguments today? Does it make any sense to stand here and make rational arguments when you know that the Trinity that you're defending has no rationality behind it? You should just say, I have faith. And I'll, do you know what? I think really there's nothing more to say. So I'm going to tell you what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, what we believe God says. Because you know what? People don't really use the Quran too much in da'wah. So let's just say what Allah says. Let's just repeat what Allah has told us. <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Nisa, chapter 4, verse 171. Well, everyone knows this verse, or at least they should do. Especially the Christians. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ahla al-kitab la taghlu fi deenikum wa la taqulu ala Allahi illa al-haqq. O people of the scripture, do not go in extremes in your religion. Theological extremes, i.e. the Trinity. And do not say about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, don't say about God except for the truth. إِنَّمَا الْمَسِيحُ بْنُ مَرْيَمَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ وَكَلِمَتُهُ أَلْقَاهَا إِلَىٰ مَرْيَمَ وَرْوُحٌ مِّنْهِ That certainly the Messiah, the son of Mary, is the prophet of Allah. As in Acts chapter 2 verse number 22, it tells us that he was a man amongst men, sent with wonders and miracles and signs. He's a messenger, approved by God. And it says in the Quran, and his word. We do affirm that he was his word. Meaning Allah said and he was. He said, kun fayakun. That's what happened. <clears throat> so Allah continues, he goes, فَأَمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرُسُولِهِ So believe in Allah and his messengers. وَلَا تَقُولُوا ثَلَاثَةً And do not say three, i.e. the Trinity. Don't say it. إِن تَهُ خَيْرًا لَكُمْ Stop. Stop is better for you. This is <laughs> clear statements. Stop is better for you. إِنَّمَا اللَّهُ إِلَهُ وَاحِدًا Certainly Allah is one God. Subhanahu ayyakuna lahu walad. Glory be to him that he had a son. Lahu mulku samawati wa ma fil ard. Lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fil ard. He has to him belongs to whoever was in the heavens and the earth. Wa kafa billahi wa kila. And Sufficient is God as a disposer of our affairs. And the brother, mashaAllah, he recited Surah Al-Ma'idah. So I'm not going to recite it again. 
where chapter 5 verse 72 read it as Christians with an open mind and an open heart it's time guys this is why religion the Christian religion is fading away in the look 2001 census 2001 there was some 76 percent of the British population was Christian now some 54 percent why because of these realities it's just something which is incoherent today you can reconcile you can reconcile today is the day seriously as Christians listen to me I know I'm a bit passionate now and I do apologize if I've come across as somewhat passionate <laughs> especially to my esteemed guest I didn't mean to yeah? when I talk about God and things it just gets me riled up one minute so what I was going to say guys is really Christians you've heard it all today the arguments have been made. The reality is clear. The truth has prevailed. And today, you can reconcile between spirituality and rationality. Today, you can free yourselves from the shackle of irrational thought. You can free yourself from the shackles of irrational, incoherent thought. Do what the people of the Roman Empire at that time couldn't do. Break yourself free from the creedal doctrine of the Trinity and embrace the religion of Abraham. Embrace the religion of Jesus Christ. That's my final statement to you guys today. And wallahi, I mean nothing. I mean, I do this for nothing but love. And you guys are welcome to Islam. I know this is not a brilliant invitation. <laughs> but seriously,